Water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out what did your love interest think about you before they went to sleep last night. And this is a collective reading for water signs. And if you were to finally get it to watch this video, this message is meant for you. Even if you're dealing with the same water sign, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Their love interest. What did they think of water signs before they went to sleep last night? Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Huh. I feel like this is this reading is for those of you if you are experiencing an ending or separation with your person. Um, because we've got the death card here. So they've been thinking a lot. Unless if this is someone new, even if this is someone new, I feel like there's some fear, a stress or worry in regards to this connection ending. Or in regards to someone changing, transforming. We've got the Six of Swords here more first. Yeah, okay. So if you're separated from this person, they could be thinking about how this ending could be like a permanent ending. And they really don't want that. And they could be worrying about that with the Nine of Swords. And with the Six of Swords here, they could be thinking about returning, right? But it takes a big change. But also, with the Ace of Wands here more first, they worry about how you may not want them anymore, may, will never be interested in them or in, be interested in them any anymore. Three of Swords here is in reverse in the Page of Cups. Last night before a person went to sleep, I do sense he or she um, planning, yeah, because there are swords here planning to heal this situation and with the page of cups here planning to apologize to you and we've got the three of pentacles planning to um compromise with you meet you in the middle and the two of swords here in reverse and the eight of swords in reverse i don't know i'm getting this energy where they think you know this is definitely over and maybe they need to do something about this maybe they need to make do something very drastic, very big, uh, in order to impress you, or in order to get you back, um, or in order for both of you to be able to mend things, right? I guess it's the same thing, but Five of Cups, they were very sad last night before they went to sleep, um, thinking about all the things that have happened between the two of you, definitely mulling over the past, Let's see more. Queen of Cups in reverse. I don't know why I, I feel like this is you, yeah? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So could be thinking about how you don't love them anymore. You don't want them anymore. But if this is someone new, you may have reminded them of someone they knew in the past right so there's some fear here worries in regards to that with the nine of swords it's almost like returning to the past i think it, it, yeah again if there's someone new they could be thinking about how you remind so much of someone they knew in the past and that they need to perhaps with the three of pentacles wait and see if both of you can actually if both of you are compatible that's what i'm seeing here we've got the moon um, at the bottom of the deck here, it does feel like they are, they were really sad last night. They could have been again crying or stressing out, worrying about uh, whether, if this is someone new, whether you being with you could turn out to be something that they may have experienced before in the past. Or if this is someone you separated from, I, th I feel like 
they think this is over for real. They think this is over for real and they're scared. They're worried about it being over completely. Like as if, you know, someone has put the nail in the coffin and then there's no turning back. So they're afraid that there's there's no turning back, yep. And we've got the King of Swords here. So your love interest could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Uh, it can be any sign again. But I feel like water signs, your love interest could be thinking about how they wouldn't want you to see them sweat. Wouldn't want them, you to see them, uh, you know, the Knight of Swords here worrying. They could be planning, they could be thinking about planning something because the King of Swords is a, you know, very strategic king. Whether to plan so that you don't, you don't know what he or she has been going through, been thinking about you. I sense a lot of sadness here, what a signs. They could be thinking about some plans to be a friend, with a page of cups here, to be nice to you, to be friendly to you, to be as cordial or as civilized as possible. Especially if this is someone kind of new. Let's pull out more cards. Okay, what a signs. See, they feel rejected by you. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the Empress in reverse and the world here. They were thinking about how you are done. You, you started something on your own. You have um, started a new chapter. And that you're happier, for, uh, happier now, being in a better place now than before. But they're still waiting. They could be thinking about how they they would like to wait for you. And a page of swords here in my verse before they went to sleep last night, they could have been checking up on you, on your social media, or looking back at pictures or conversations, text messages. They think you have changed. And the death card here again, like maybe in the past with the Empress, you were very nurturing, very caring, very loving. They don't think you care anymore. Yeah, they've been thinking like you're done, you don't care anymore, you don't want to have anything to do with them anymore. The least they can do now is to try to be friends with you with Page of Cups and then wait for you with the Seven of Pentacles or wait for things to change. Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. They think you've retrieved, you've retrieved your cup of love, you no longer are emotionally invested and that you're not attracted to them anymore and that you don't you don't want them anymore so they could be thinking about all of that and they're stressing out how much things have changed how much you have changed yeah that's what i'm getting here it's like them thinking you know the least i can do is to be nice to be friendly and hopefully we could especially if you have children with this person or that whether you have children or not with this person, I do sense them thinking, you know, at least they want to be somewhat connected to you. Like, no matter how, even if, no matter how small it is, that's what I'm seeing here. See? The Emperor here is in reverse, so they think, they could have been thinking, like, this is completely out of my control. Even if I want to control it, I can't, Right? Again, the least they can do is to, you know, keep a straight face and that to try to be nice to you and be friends with you. At least, like, n at least there's something than nothing at all. Yeah, I hope that makes sense to you. But uh, what a science. Your person was crying last night before he or she went to sleep. I think they definitely think this is over for real. You couldn't care less anymore. And you, again, you've changed so, so much with the death card here. They do want to heal this connection with you. They're waiting. They're planning something. Planning to return. But I see them feeling not very hopeful, okay? Not very hopeful. As in, they don't have much faith that you would ever feel the same way for him or her. In the past, like you've lost interest, you just, you just are done. 
They could be thinking about, you know, going for counseling with you. They themselves could have gone to a therapy. They could have been thinking about um, what the therapist has said. Not for some of them only, not for all of them. But I see them having the intention to want to talk with you, compromise with you. But there is a lot of regrets, regretful energy, disappointment here. So, hmm. But I don't see them wanting you to see that they're not doing well. So there's this energy, water signs, where your love interest may want to still act as though they are unfazed by everything, but deep down, they possibly even have depression, they could be crying a lot, you know, five cups here, that this could potentially be like over for good. All right, water signs, uh, your, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'll leave you with... A few playlists on the screen right now. Check them out if you want to. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. I hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Take care, water signs. Bye.